In this video we're going to be making the rear axle for our scooter. Shouldn't take us too long. It's just a simple little peg that will shoot through the back, uh, the back wheel to allow it to rotate. To begin we'll go up to the file menu and make a new document using the metric template and a standard millimetre part. We'll begin with a new 2D sketch on the XY plane today. Now we're going to draw a circle first up and that circle is going to come out of the origin, so that centre point, and it's going to be 12 millimetres in diameter. So type in 12, press enter and finish your sketch. From here we'll extrude that 6 millimetres and we'll click OK. And that's the top cap that will sit on our axle. OK, so just rotate it around so you can see the face underneath. And what we're going to do there is we're going to do another 2D sketch on this face. OK, so now that we're on that face, we'll draw a circle coming out of the origin again, and it's going to be 8 millimetres. We'll press Enter. Finish the sketch. Extrude that. And it's going to go a distance of 78 millimetres. Click OK. You can see now a majority of our little axle is already done. Um, from here, I'm going to come down the bottom, zoom in on this bottom face. OK, and we're going to start a 2D sketch on that bottom face, and we're simply going to draw another circle that's 8 millimetres. That'll be the same size as the bottom face. Um, once you've got that, we're going to finish the sketch, and then we're going to put a little hole on that centre point there. So we're going to use the hole tool up the top here, click on hole, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on that centre point first of all, and you'll notice that puts a hole into our document, but there's a few settings over here that we need to change first. Uh, make sure it's from sketch, we've just got the one centre, this first option is chosen. Okay, going down, the drill point needs to be this little pointy one, 118 degrees. Uh, the termination's distance, hopefully this is already set for you, you don't need to change it. Now this one along here, we want to choose the third option, which is a tapped hole. Okay, after we selected tapped hole, we're going to change a few of these settings down the bottom for the thread. I'm going to change it to an isometric profile, size number 5, class will stay as 6H, and the designation is going to be M5 times 0.5. Leave it as right hand. If you've got full depth selected, uncheck that for me now. And I think the last thing we've got to do is just change our dimensions up here. Okay, the top box needs to be 8mm and the next box needs to be 6mm. Okay, so pause the video and have a look at all those settings very carefully and make sure you've got them spot on to what I do. And if you're happy with that, you can click on OK. And what that's going to do is basically put a little hole there with a the thread. And that will allow a screw to go in there. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. Um, what's next? We're going to put a sketch on the top face. So swing your axle around so you can see the cap up the top here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a new sketch on this top face. So on this top face, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to project some geometry. Okay, so click the project geometry button up the top there. And hover around the center point and just move your mouse slowly out until you see this small circle. When you see that small circle, click on it. Oops, sorry, click on it once. Okay, and as you move your mouse away, you will get a yellow uh, circle there. Okay, that's just projected the shape from another axis. Press Escape to turn project geometry off, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our polygon tool. Now it hides underneath your rectangle tool here, so you need to go down the drop-down list and select the polygon. And your polygon needs to have six sides, so we are drawing ourselves a hexagon. From here, click on the center point, drag out, and you want to make sure your hexagon has the sharper points running down that vertical line. Okay, so it should be positioned just like that. Just a little bit bigger than the circle is what you need it, so click once and press escape to turn the polygon tool off. Now we're going to dimension this hexagon to get it to the right size. So grab your dimension tool at the top, Click on this top line here, click on this bottom line opposite it, just over here, drag out, and make the dimension 5mm and press enter. So it should be just a little bit bigger than your circle when you're done, just like that. You can click finish sketch now, and we're going to extrude this shape and cut a hole into the top of it. So click extrude. The distance we want to extrude is just 5mm, and you want to make it a cut, and you want to select both the hexagon 
and the circle for this one, so they're both cutting away. Click OK. Oops, didn't quite work. We'll try that again. Extrude that, that, make it a cut. Click OK. Not sure why it didn't work the first time, but anyway, we've got our cut in there now as we've extruded away the hexagon and the circle. Okay. Uh, last thing we'll do is just put a fillet around the top of this and then we'll be done. So let's grab our fillet tool up top and make the radius. We're going to make it quite small, 0.4 millimeters. I'm going to click on here so we can add some in. We're going to click on each side of our hexagon just to fill up those edges and then the circle up the top. Click OK and you've now got your rear axle done. We'll add a bit of colour to it by going to the appearance panel here and we're just going to search for the word polished. We want a polished look to it. Now I've been using steel polished in previous videos. You can choose whatever you want. Let's go with one of these chromes, hey? So we'll highlight it. Chrome polished black looks pretty good so we'll apply that to it, close it and you've now got your rear axle all done. Save that up and I'll see you in the next video.